Temperatures are about the same as yesterday in a few places like Oceanside, a degree better. And then in others like Ramona, only a degree cooler. Temperatures in Fallbrook at 63 degrees and Oceanside 65, also 65 degrees in Kearney Mesa in 65 in National City. The trend will be wetter conditions on Thursday, but we're only looking at a little bit of rain here. Our rain future cast kind of paints the picture of how this will all play out. We'll start out with clear skies, sunny weather in the morning, and then by the afternoon, some clouds will increase. As we put our rain future cast in motion, you can see it takes its time because it's not until the evening before we actually get to see some clouds and maybe a little bit of light rain. Again, everything is going to be fairly light. The rain totals most likely will be trending closer to a tenth of an inch, although different models, depending what I show you, it hints at closer to tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch into our mountains and foothills. So it's all about location. It'll be a cool night around the county, not as chilly as last night with our chance for rain starting Wednesday night into Thursday. A concern, especially Thursday night into early Friday. As we head into the weekend, sunny and mild conditions. So let's take a look at what's happening right now. You can see those winds gusting in our mountains and deserts, averaging 20, 30 miles per hour. As we go into different systems, different events happening in a very short period. As we zoom out, here's what's happening now. High pressure is in place. So the north and low pressure system in the cold front that's going to be diving south. That is what's bringing our chances for rain. This one is the one that will be dripping across the area, providing that chance for a little bit of light rain. So we're going to start out with enough moisture in our clouds for a little bit of light rain. Most of it, it's actually going to be drizzle, light showers for the overnight into the early morning. Then we'll see a better chance by Thursday afternoon. And this is when we'll see better accumulations. Snow levels could drop all the way down to 5,000 feet. We could see maybe an inch, but most areas are going to see very little moisture out of this storm. So mostly in the 40s, so everything is in the way of rainfall, but there's a lot of energy with this front that's helping those thunderstorms develop. The storm itself already making its way out of the area into the four corners behind it, just a trailing front and high pressure right on its heels. So as soon as the system pulls out, Great weather will follow. 64 degrees in Oceanside, 59 Ramona, like we talked about the mountains. 50s, 40s, Julian 47, 43 in Mount Laguna. The winds are still unsure, but that is going to be changing as we go into starting at 10 p.m. with this wind advisory all the way through 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. The winds within the wind advisory, which now includes our mountains all the way into our inland communities, could experience wind gusts of up to 50. Sleep for that <laughs> in our seven-day forecast. 70s Friday this weekend, slightly cooler Sunday. Next week, temperatures do recover. Inland communities will average around 74 degrees, close to 80 on Saturday, and even closer to 80 degrees on Monday, with a high of 79 degrees, mostly sunny sky. Imperial Beach. As we look ahead in our weather in our weather headlines, it is going to be warmer during the day, but cool at night. Gusty winds are going to be impacting most of the county Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday. There could also be some Santa Ana winds by Thursday, and a slight chance for a little bit of rain this weekend, with temperatures cooling down by Sunday. The marine layer is also going to be returning this week. We'll see a few clouds by tomorrow morning, but really doesn't look like a huge concern. We'll see a lot more clouds, maybe even some patchy fog and low visibility as we go into Wednesday morning. That'll be the day to watch for those low clouds. Hour by hour we go near the coast of Greece tomorrow. We'll stay mild, just a little bit cooler Wednesday as that marine layer moves in briefly, and then temperatures rebound Thursday and Friday with St. Anna winds coming back on Thursday. Heading into the weekend, we go back down to the 70s and 60s on Sunday but the temperatures should be able to recover into the following week. Our mountains will be looking at winds. Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday, and then the winds will be shifting out of the east on Thursday morning with those Santa Ana conditions expected. Oceanside will be monitoring, of course, as we go into tonight. And you can see those clouds extending up and down the coastline, but a lot more just offshore. Clouds will continue streaming across the county as there is a storm system that's very, very weak. Most likely it's just going to add clouds. As we zoom out even more, you can see very active conditions across much of the west, but high pressure was here just a few days ago and is still dominating across the area. So in between, we have a very weak onshore flow and a very weak offshore flow. A little bit of both. Really nice day. We'll start out with clouds. We'll end the afternoon sunny. On Thursday, 82 degrees, clear on Friday, with a cool down, of course, as that system moves in and time for the weekend. In the mountains, it'll be breezy tomorrow, also on Thursday, with the winds out of the east. Temperatures will be close to 70 degrees on Friday. But back to the 40s on just a matter of days by Sunday. In the deserts, 90 degrees tomorrow. On Saturday, 89 degrees. And a much cooler day on Sunday with a high of 72.